What's up everybody? Sorry, I haven't been on in a while. So, I have a new app to review today and it's gonna be this one called DrawPad. So, it's a cool little note-taking app, a little bit different than Evernote. Um, and I'll guide you through it right here. So, this is your main screen as you can see. And if we go ahead and click the little plus button here, what you do is you enter your title of the note you want. Testing. You can write a little note what it's about below here. So uh, let's. There we go. Um, you can choose a color. To color your notebook. We've got a nice little tan brown here. And cool thing is, yeah, let's see if we can bring this in. You get all these cool papers to choose from. So you have line, graph paper, uh, notepad style paper, plain paper, checklist style paper, uh, calendar style paper, little story. Mm. Trying to see if I can zoom in on this. Oh. Alright, anyway, so we'll just choose a paper. And there we go. There's your notebook. You click in to go. You have your title. Add a new page. I don't know if you could see that, so you can do like a little, little drawing up here, and then down here, you can write stuff. So, and if you want, on the fly, you can change your paper. There you got a graph style paper. What else we got? We got, uh, we, they got all kinds of papers here. So, pretty much whatever it is you're doing, uh, they have a paper for this. So, you can do some little tic tac toe. Oops, sorry. And go here. Use a little eraser. Scribble this off. And go back to the pen. Choose a color, choose a width. Ooh, as you can see. And do this. And I'll do a little blue. Uh, play. Tic tac toe. I'll uh, show you some other stuff here. Scroll through. You got colored paper, you got a map, even if you want to do anything on a map. You get this nice old style paper here that I like. And you can see marble color. Um, anyway, so down at the bottom, uh, you have your papers. You have. Uh, the ability to take a, a picture and trace it. You can add on photos to your drawing and then send it to Twitter. Cost extra for that. Uh, I'm not going to purchase it. This is to clear your drawing. Your little eraser and then you can go back to your notebook, go to the cover. You want to do a new page, it's easy. Click the little plus button there and you can change the style paper on this one uh, uh, why is it not drawing oh it's on a racer that's why do a, change the color here so this page then we'll do another page here this will always go back to the default paper you set but this page we want a different style paper alright and then as you go back it'll go to your previous papers that you have chosen. Uh, and we're gonna go to cover. And actually, I'll show you this. So let's say now we're gonna make another notebook. Just call it whatever. A different color. Paper. So now, as you can see, you're gonna flip through all your notebooks. So you have your different sections. All neatly organized and cool colored notebook style looking thingy my bobbers. And uh, that's it. It's pretty pretty cool that uh, the way the app works, very open to uh, your needs. And uh, anyways, give it a shot. Here's how you edit. This will not replace Evernote for me, but it is a cool backup. Uh, tool to have to do little drawings, little note things, if you want to write something down by hand quick. Uh, 
highly recommend it. So download it, enjoy it, take care.